Warren Buffett is the most successful investor in the world with well over $92 billion in net worth. Part of the reason he's been able to build that kind of net worth is because of his ability to manage his time and focus on what matters. It is truly a testament to his ability to think long term as well. The thing is, is that Buffett doesn't just spend his time thinking about stocks, companies and transactions. He spends a great deal of his time thinking about how he can leverage his remaining time left on the planet to get the most out of that time. Let's talk about the simple three-step productivity strategy that Buffett uses to help himself and his employees manage their priorities and their actions. The first step is to write down 25 things that you want to accomplish in the foreseeable future. Nothing is left off the table. These are all goals, big and small. Second, you would then rank these 25 things in order of importance for, in numerical order, in importance to you anyway. And then finally, number three, Circle the top five of those items and prioritize your top five goals. This is the tough part. Try to figure out your top five. Now, the top five become the primary focus, and the other 20 come in, you know, second. It's all secondary stuff, right? So the top five are what you're going to stay hyper-focused on. Everything you didn't circle just become an avoid-all-cost type of scenario, no matter what, these things get no attention from you until you've succeeded with your top five. Those items are still important. They might still be important to you, but they're not nearly as urgent as the five that you selected. So meaning you're going to give those top five or those top, uh, the top five your total attention, the bottom 20, no dedicated effort, no attention, no time. Now, this is what Buffett calls his 525 rule. And it works for anything in relation to health, business, relationship, personal goals, whatever. It works with everything. These days, there's so much competition for our attention. And the choices have never been more abundant than at any other time in history. We've got phones. We've got tablets. we got computers. You have content producers that are masters at cognitive biases. And they know how these cognitive biases work. And they use clickbait and a whole bunch of other things to basically get our attention. So don't expect this fight for our attention to slow down anytime soon. You know, you got now, it's everything's pushing more towards other types of items that uh, that are also fighting for our attention too. You have other devices, watches, ear, earbuds, all kinds of other things, right? It is really the primary reason why people don't reach their full potential is because of these distractions. They don't hit their personal goals, right? Each time we pursue a new course of action and get distracted, no matter what the task is, we incur an opportunity cost. It takes our time and attention away from the things that matter most to us. Your odds of success improve dramatically when you put your entire focus on one single point. You have to double down on what you envision as success and rack up a number of hours trying to get really, really good and really, really complete at that thing that you want to do. Don't get distracted by the latest fad or don't go from one interest to another to another. Stay away from those get rich quick schemes. There's plenty of them out there, especially on Facebook, tons of those things out there. You avoid all that. Rather, spend your time on singular focus items. These types of things allow us to focus on and get the important things done. Now, it sometimes seems that we, we fear leading very boring lives. So we keep a lot, we keep a lot of activity going keeps to keep us busy and it makes us think that we're getting stuff done. I disagree with this. It is in fact our ability to apply discipline around our time and attention to pull it in and redirect it to those to those five tasks that I talked about earlier, but redirect your attention to those very singular focused items. So that's how Buffett's 525 rule helps, right? With with that 525, you complete the top five items and then you move on to six and seven and so on. Think about all those things you want to do. Maybe you want to get into your first multifamily deal. Maybe you want to learn how to play the guitar. Maybe you want to take up boxing. It's all about limiting choices and focusing on what matters to you. Now, as nice as it sounds, there are people that never really make much progress. And it's a sign that the items on those lists are not actually that important, if you think about it. Most of us pick the items because they provide some form of benefit. And while they're nice, they don't sufficiently motivate us and follow through. Now, for example, it might be cool to speak five languages, but spending your days and weekends learning the rules of grammar is not very exciting. 
because it's not high in the list of priorities, like you have work and family that also take take hold, you, you, you can't really apply a great deal of practice to those languages in your spare time. That ef effectively means that single goal cannot can take months or even years to accomplish if you ever do it in the first place. Perhaps the effort put in for for a few weeks is uh, is just too much, right? And you end up just quitting. The end result is that you have a list of items that never get completed. And what happens then is this starts weighing down in our minds, it starts filling us up with stress, guilt, and all that overwhelms us. So much so that we begin to feel obligated to take on more work and justify why we couldn't get it done. And this is why minimizing our choices can get us the maximum results. Now the Pareto principle, which many people have heard about here, I'm sure if you're watching this video, more than likely you heard about this. The Pareto principle is known as the 80-20 rule. It tells us the majority of the outcomes are driven by small number of changes. And chances are that anything that falls outside of the top five will probably have little impact to your life anyway. So rather than add on take things away. It may help eliminate the things that don't really enrich your life. Buffett's 525 rule is an example of how that type of simplicity can make life easier and better. Take the time to determine those bottom 20 items and actually uh, it'll help you think long term as well. If, and if you have the mental fuel to put that, that goal through and to see it through, right? Your attention and time are two of the most finite resources you have. There are going to be other opportunities out there that we realistically have time for, and we shouldn't be quick to take on every single thing. It doesn't matter how good an opportunity is if you if you can't really advance goal number one of five, right? You have, you have, that's the thing. I mean, there's so many opportunities you have to really focus and hunker down on which one you're going to go after. If we force ourselves to eliminate all of our options, we find that we only have a few really things that we're truly good at anyway. So if you're best served ignoring the distractions and doing more of what really matters to get to the goal that you want to see. Anyway, guys, be bulletproof, guys. I will talk to you again soon.